I will look toward the hills where my help comes from. And my help only comes from the Lord. Big shout out to you too, family, Facebook family. K Ray, good to see you back on, brother. I know you've been dealing with some issues, but it's good to see you back on. And I just finished looking at your video on Let God Be Your Counselor. And I want to just come back and respond with you on this, man, on letting God be our counselor. And you know what, man? You brought out some very excellent points in the video as usual. And you know what, bro? There's so many people, they get so caught up on calling everybody else instead of calling on the Savior. Except calling on the Savior. You are the only one that can help, who can change, who can deliver. See, one thing about me, I can't deliver nobody. I can't save nobody. And I make a lot of people mad because I get phone calls all day long, all night long. And I tell people sometimes, what do you want me to do about it? Because I can't do nothing about it but pray for you. And some of these folks need to start praying for themselves. I don't know why we act so weak and we got our Savior right there. But so many people done put the Lord on the back burner. They done got caught up and calling their homegirl like their homegirl. And you right, man. Like their homegirl can solve all their problems or like our homeboys can solve all of our problems. But it don't, it don't work like that. And we can get advice like you were saying in the video. And you got to be careful who's giving you advice. Because a lot of people talking about stuff they ain't never been through. But then at the same time, I can listen at anybody, me personally. I can listen at somebody because you don't know who God is using to speak through somebody. Whether they went through something or not, that's how I look at that, but that's just me. But you are making some very dynamic points, man. You got to be careful who you're around. You got to be careful who's preaching to you. And the main thing is, if you ain't studying to show yourself approved, you're going to listen at anybody. Because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And if you ain't standing for God, then you're going to for sure fall for anything. Point blank. We need to quit getting on these phones trying to figure out each other's problems like we can solve them. I tell people in a minute, God knows the problems and the solutions. And he is the only one that can do it. Now, yes, I can go get you something to eat. I can clothe you. I can feed you. I can pray for you. But other than that, that's about all I can do. I can't cure no counsel. And what people are dealing with in their homes and on their jobs and at these churches they got to learn how to trust God. They got to learn how to follow God. I keep telling people, it's past believing and having faith as a side of a mustard seed. You, you, you got you to gotta understand and be able to trust God with your life. When I went through being wrongly accused of that, you know what I went through, K-Ray, right, with that, that rape stuff. When I went through that mess, falsely accused of that, it was only God that can bail me out. I could have cried to my mama all night, all day. I could have told you. I could have told everybody what I need to do. But you know what I did? I put it in God's hand because what nothing I can do about it but pray about it. And look how God brought me out. My point is, it's okay to have friends. It's okay to encourage each other. It's okay to pray for each other. But we need to understand our friends can't solve our problems. They got enough problems of their own. Jesus told us once again in the book of Matthew, 6 and 34, I believe. He said, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day got a problem of his own. Each day. And right before that, that's why he told us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his what? Righteousness and all these other things will be added unto thee. See, when I put those two scriptures together with my life and start living by it, my life got a whole lot better, bro. That's why when I'm going through something, half of the people don't even know. Because I keep this, this smile on my face, man, all the time. That's why I walk around with my head up, not down. Folks in church, I always mess with me. They say, man, we ain't never seen you in no bad mood, Harley. You don't never get mad. No, I got too much joy inside of me to be walking around here mad, angry, sad, depressed. I give it over to God. Why do I say this? Because he already told us in this life. We're going to have trials and tribulations. He's testing us on our faith. But so many people just want God to bless them and expect not to go through nothing. God don't operate like that. The reason you go through your struggle is to get blessed. That's a part of getting blessed. But so many people cry because of the first problem they go through in their life. If you love God like you say you do, and you have him in your heart, 
why are you still walking around her sad and doubting God like he ain't going to bail you out of nothing, but I got a news flash for you. Most things we put ourselves in, we did it ourselves. It ain't God all the time. Yes, God going to put you through some stuff, but we put ourselves through more things on top of what God going to put us through. And then we sitting up here crying and angry and mad and want to blame it all on God. No. Yes, God got a way of getting your attention, but look at a lot of the stupid stuff you put yourself into. It's common sense. Now we pray for God to bail us out of it. And then we cry and get mad when God don't pull us out on our time. God don't operate on our time because it ain't about us. Let the Lord be your counselor. Greatest lawyer I ever had in my life. I don't think nobody going gonna to out top my God. Hmm. Good God Almighty. I went through that mess for almost 16 years out of my life. You know what, K-Ray? I didn't have to spend a dime to get my name clear. Now, hey, tell me what law you're going to work for free like that. Good God Almighty. Boy, you about to make me shot in this video, boy, because I'm telling you, when I think about what the Lord has done for me, see, it's too easy for me to get on the phone and call folk, man, I'm going through this. You know, I... I need you to tell me what. Now I don't need you to tell me what to do. I know what I need to do. I need to get on my knees and pray. How many of y'all ever done fell down on your knees and done had so many sleepless nights? You done fell on your knees and cried and just cried out to the Lord. Sometimes you got to just fall on your knees and cry out to the Lord. Get real with the Lord. Quit praying them cute prayers all the time. Lord, bless my family. Thank you for my mom and my daddy. Amen. Now we need to get deep with these prayers. Now, I understand everybody on, ain't on milk, I mean, ain't on meat yet, because we got some on milk trying to get to the meat. But I'm talking about to these ones when Paul said, let us stop being ignorant of the word. Let us get off of this stuff we already know and start getting to the real meat. Y'all know, y'all the ones, y'all know who I'm talking about. So when we going through issues, man, we need to give it over to God, like you said, K-Ray. We need to give it over. We need to turn it over to, to the Lord and let it and leave it alone. Dwayne Woods got a song say, let go, let God. Love that song. Because he said, as soon as I stop worrying, worrying about how the story ends, I let go and I let God. Let God have his way. And that's when things start happening. Mm. See, I stopped looking back back then. Good God Almighty. Oh, how I let go and let God. Let God have his way. You ever listen to uh, Dwayne Woods' testimony? It's beautiful. Because I believe he was... He had AIDS. As a matter of fact, and he got fully delivered. He told it on cable one time. Man had AIDS and don't have nothing at all now. So when you're going through things, let it be God. When them folks giving you hell on your job, put it in the hands of the Lord. Some folks done got laid off right now. They done got mad. But they don't understand that they got laid off for a reason. But it's because God is setting them up for something bigger and better. If you are living in the will of the Lord and doing things right, yes, you're going to have problems. Because he told us it rains on the just as well as the unjust. But sometimes when you get laid off, I looked at my layoff like a blessing. I done been laid off I don't know how many times. I looked at it as a blessing. And you know what? It was a big old setback for a major come up. I didn't walk around here crying to folks. You know what I did? I just kept on praying. I kept on living by the word. See, this is why I did this the video just yesterday that you got to stop quoting the scriptures and start living by the word. Because if you don't live it, what are you doing? Okay, Ray, good video, man. We need to put our trust in the Lord. Greatest lawyer, greatest counselor, greatest friend, greatest father. What greater love is there than the man that laid down his life? For a friend. Oh, I'm so glad he laid down his life for a friend because I was on my way to a burning hell. I would have be, been just like that rich man. He should have been on his way with Lazarus, but he wasn't. He woke He woke up, lifted his eyes, and he was in Hades, which is hell. The Bible does say Hades, but in other words, he lifted up his eyes and he was in hell, begging to get his tongue cooled off. Now, when he was on, when he was living, he had everything he needed, just like some of us. Walking around here, got everything we need and still complaining. It ain't helping nobody. We ain't helping nobody. That man had everything. Wasn't hurting for nothing. And poor Lazarus sitting right there. But when you look at it in the long run, who was really poor? Mm. Woo! What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? God bless you.